Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we'll be solving example 16.11 uh, about the state variables. Now, we had learned earlier that a linear system can have more than one input and more than one output. And in such a scenario, the best way to solve such a circuit is to use state variables. Now in the example that we are going to solve, we have two inputs and two outputs as shown here. We can see this circuit, we have one input here Vs and the other input is Vi. And the outputs we want to find is V out and I out. The state equations uh, we have learned is written like this. X dot, that is dy by dt actually is a constant A multiplied by variable X plus constant B multiplied by variable of Z. Z is the uh, input variable. So as shown here, X dot is actually dx by dt. This X is the state variable V and I, which are the um, voltage across the capacitor and the current through the inductor. And the Z variables are the input variables, which are Vs and Vi in this case. There is another equation that we need to solve that is called the output equation and it is given by this formula. Here also the uh, C and D are constant and X and Z are as uh, discussed here. Now to find the transfer function, we have to convert this into Laplace. So we take Laplace transform of the first equation, that is the state equation. And we have learned that the uh, differential function will have the uh, Laplace transform in this form. And if the initial condition is neglected, then it will be SFS. So we'll use this here. So x dot, that means dx dt can be written as s x s and here it will be just simply x can be replaced at x s and z can be replaced with z s. Now we'll manipulate it a little bit. We bring this on the left hand side, take x s common, multiply s by an identity matrix which is just like multiplying by 1. And from here, x, s can be written as, as shown here. It can also be written in terms of a inverse of the denominator. Now the other function was the output function. This one, slab last transform will be written like this. And in this, if we replace the x, s, taking common z, x, and we know that the transfer function is actually output divided by input. So if you bring it here, so it will go IS over ZS. So this is what is left is the transfer function. Now in the transfer function, A, B, C, D are the uh, cons constants and, and their name is system matrix, input coupling, etc. In most cases, D is zero. And therefore, our transfer function equation will become like this. And this is what we, we have to solve if we want to find the uh, transfer function. Our example 16.1 consider the circuit and figure which may be regarded as two input, two output system. So we have discussed already that we have two inputs and two outputs. Determine the state variable model that is the uh, matrix model and also find the transfer function of the system. So as I have mentioned, in the, the, we have two inputs and two outputs. First we need to select the inductor current I and capacitor voltage V as the state variables. So yes, we have selected I and V as the state variable. Then we need to find di dt, which is also called i dot, and also dv dt, which is called v dot. 
and this we should find in terms of the state variables that is v and i and the input variables that is v s and v i. Now from here we can see that there will be two equations one for di dt that is i dot and other for dv dt that is v dot. Now to find uh, um, di dt we know that vl is written as l di dt so we have to use this loop and to find dv dt we know that the capacitor current is written as i c dv dt so we have to use this node. So first of all we apply kvl uh, along the left loop and from here if you go it will be minus Vs I1 1 and L di dt. So L is 1 over 6 di dt. So from here we find uh, now di dt we have replaced by I dot. So I dot is 6 Vs minus 6 I1. Now here we have said that we need to find I dot in terms of the state variable V and I and the input variable uh, Vs and Vi. So Vs is there but this is not desirable so we have to eliminate this. Similarly for the uh, right hand side or for dv dt we solve this one obtain the second one second equation by KCL at node number 2 and KCL equation I hope you know current entering here is V0 over 2 leaving is IC dv dt that is C is 1 over 3 dv dt and then leaving is I0 dv dt written as V dot solving solving here also you know that it is in terms of V naught and I naught which are the output functions but we need in terms of the state variable and the input variable therefore we need to eliminate V naught and I naught okay let's take the first one the left hand side that we had got this equation we need to eliminate i1 and to eliminate we have to go into this loop because this has i1 and also it has i and v so applying kvl around the loop containing v s and v we can write v s is equal to i into 1 then v naught then v but at node 1 KCL now here we can write KCL also is that is I1 is equal to I and this current which is V0 over 2 so I1 is I V0 over 2 and from here we can write V0 to be 2I minus 2 uh, 2I1 minus 2I now substituting this in equation here we substitute for V, V naught sorry, so substituting this and solving we find I1. Remember we have to find actually this one, so we will put value of I1 here because I1 is now in terms of either the uh, state variable uh, or the input variable. So putting this value here and replacing i with this value of i uh, sorry i1 with this value of i1 and solving we get i dot equation which is in terms of v i and the input one of the input v s. So this is our first equation first state equation. Now to find the second state equation we solve the right post, right hand portion of the equation that we have derived. And here also to eliminate V0 and I0, uh, we go to the right hand side and the, this is the loop that we consider for minus V plus 3I naught plus V1 and from here I0 is V minus VI over 3. So this is one of the equations we got I0. Now we need to find V0 also and V0 is here. So for V0, 
we, we had already written this equation or found this equation earlier in uh, 11.3. V0 is 2i1 minus 2i which can be written as 2 bracket i1 minus i2 and we will also find i1. So what we will do is we will now put in the value of this equation that is i1 into here 3. So putting this value and solving we find v0. Now remember these two are actually the output equations also. We will be using them um, uh, later on but just keep in mind that these are the output equations. We need to find this equation. So we have to plug in the value of v0 here and we have to plug in the value of i0 here. So putting i0 and v0 in equation uh, 11.6 so putting the values solving solving we find v0 in terms of the state variables v and i and in terms of the input variables vs and v1 so this is our second equation second state equation okay so we have the two state equations but we need to formalize them and the formalize means we have to take care of all the four variables two variables for x and two variables for z so the first one you can see two variables of x is there that is b and i but only one variable of z is here so we have to add another variable with a zero so plus zero into the second variable input variable vi and the second equation of vi is fine it is v and i and v s and uh, vi so this is our complete equation now to write in the matrix form we just write down the v terms first and the i terms uh, later and from here we can write the matrix equation so matrix equation for this these are the um, coefficients minus 2 2 minus 1 and 4 for v and i and similarly for v s and v i we have 1 here 4 here 1 and 4 1 and 0 so this is uh, our one of the matrix equation uh, for the uh, state equation then we come to the output equation we had these two outputs we had already discussed so we'll just compare with the standard form so this can be written as uh, written here and comparing with the standard form we need 2 for the x and 2 for z so we have only one from x that is v so we write 0 i and also in the second part we have only for v i terms so we write 0 v s so now we have all the four terms and similarly in the second part we have v and i and v s but we don't have v v i so we write it with a zero term so this is now complete equation we just invert it to write v naught first and i naught first and then we can easily write the uh, in them in matrix form as we wrote before so minus 2 by 3 1 over 3 minus 2 by 3 0 and similarly these two here so this is our uh, second matrix equation so the state model is now the first matrix equation or the state equation and this is the for the output equation so up to this much it has been done in the book uh, he has not talked about the second part of the question that is the transfer function so i'll just try to give you some hint first of all if you compare this with the standard equation you can see this is the x term so with that the coefficient is a in the state equation so a is equal to this part here similarly b is equal to this part here c here and d so if you know a b c and d then you can write the transfer function we have discussed already it was like this neglecting d the equation will be this so putting the value of a b and c and solving uh, which is uh, slightly difficult 
you can look into equation 16 uh, example 16.10 how it has been solved you can find the transfer function so i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments thank you